Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. I've got a special guest for the video today. It's my sister Sophie. Hiya. And Sophie is going to be giving us her verdict on a selection from the Tom Ford Private Blend. Stay tuned to FM. Okay, so this one's just going to be a quick video. We're going out for dinner for my dad's birthday. I thought I'd grab the opportunity to shoot a video with Sophie. Sophie doesn't live that near me. So uh, when we all get together, I like to uh, make the most of it. And you don't mind helping out, do you? No. <laughs> do you, are you familiar with the Tom Ford Private Blend? At all? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go through, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven to test. So we're going to whiz through these. So let's start, we're going to do an opening and a dry down test of each one. And then at the end of the video, Sophie's going to let us know which one is her favourite. So, first one we're going to test is Neroli Portofino. What do you think of that? Yeah, I like this one. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like it's quite light. Yeah, very light. Yeah, it's a summer scent, really. I mean, you can wear them, any of these, all, all year round. Yeah. Um, they, they are all unisex, but to you, does it go one way or the other, more masculine um, or more feminine? I would say more masculine. Oh, right, okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's very light. It's quite sweet at the end, but when you first smell it, Yeah. I think it's more masculine and then then I get sweet at the end. Okay, all right, you like it? I like it, yeah. Okay, good. All right, next one. One extreme to the other. This is a much heavier scent. This is Tuscan leather. What do you think that one? Yeah. So I don't like this one as much. I all find right. it quite bitter. Yep. That bit heavy. Yeah, it is heavier. The bitterness is the leather yeah. note coming through. Yeah, I much prefer the first one. Yeah, I think the idea of Tuscan leather is to balance out the bitterness of, of that leather with the sweetness of the raspberry. So it's yeah. leather and raspberry predominantly in that scent. For me, the leather is just quite... Too much? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. People say it smells like the inside of a, a new Yeah, farm. it does. Yeah? Okay. Or a new car. And yeah. actually, I don't really like new car smells. Okay, so, thumbs down for Tuscan yeah. leather. I'm gutted, I love Tuscan leather. <laughs> okay, next one, we're going fresh again. Mandarino di Amalfi Aqua. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah? Yeah, I really like this one. I think I prefer it to the first one. It's lighter, mm. maybe a bit orangey. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mandarin. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Orangey citrus. Yeah, I, um, I really love Neroli Portofino for a summer scent, but I feel like Mandarino di Amalfi has a, bit, a little bit more going on, a bit more complexity. Yeah. It's got that nice rounded fruity yeah. smell. Yeah, really like this. I think it's probably a bit more feminine as well. Okay. Ah, so you thought Neroli Portofino a bit more masculine. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is a bit sweeter. Mandarino is a bit sweeter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I like it. Great. Ah, oh, you like that one? Okay. Yeah. Is that your favourite so far, yeah. Mandarino? Okay. Yeah. All right. Now we are going to go with Tobacco Vanille. I don't think you've ever smelt this one. No. What do you think? I actually really like this one. Yeah? Yeah, it's quite sweet. Yeah, vanilla, very sweet vanilla. Yeah. I don't think I like it as much as the Mandarino. Mandarino. Okay. They're very different though. Yeah. It's a very, tobacco vanilla is a very striking scent. Yeah. I find it's quite potent. It, I, I love the fact that it's got a darker sweet tobacco note mixed with the, the kind of lightness yeah. of the vanilla. Yeah, I, really, I do. I really like this one. I think yeah. I'd wear the, I'd, I'd wear them at different for different things yeah. though. Yeah, that's like probably that one's more a, a mandarino and more summer holiday. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I might wear this one more like at home or something. Yeah, it is yeah. a good cosy home scent, isn't it? Or a going out scent. Have yeah. you put a fragrance on yet today? 
No. Well, you can you can choose can one choose. of these if you like. That it can be your scent of the day. There we go. <laughs> Going out wearing Tom Ford into Manchester tonight. Okay. Next up, we have tobacco oud. No, I don't like that one either. Okay. It's, it is a divisive one. I think the... Again, it's a bit bitter. I think with tobacco oud, you get a lot of oud coming through it. Yeah. I think sometimes the oud, like in oud wood, is, is more subtle. But this is um, a stronger... Uh, and it's scampier yeah, oud. Yeah, and it's strong. Yeah. It's not light and it's quite bitter. Yeah. I really, I really enjoy tobacco oud. Yeah, it's definitely uh, more of a masculine scent, I think. Yeah. And it's bold. Yeah. Statement maker. Yeah. Yeah. But I always, I always prefer lighter. You always. Do you, you remember when we did lighter. the review on the um, artisan pure? Yeah, yeah, and I was the only one that liked that one because it was yes. like lighter and fresher. Yeah, pressure. you preferred that to Sauvage, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's lovely, Artisan Pure, actually. Yeah. Okay, so tobacco oud, did you really hate it? If you smelt that on Richard, would I you? I preferred it to... Tuscan leather? Yeah. Okay. I preferred it to Tuscan leather. Okay. That's um, interesting because I always think Tuscan leather is less divisive than tobacco oud, but in my experience, it seems to be the opposite. Mm. People have... Um, more of a disliking towards Tuscan leather than they do. So oh, some people love Tuscan leather, but I just find Tuscan leather is the more divisive one when I thought it I would be. I feel like you love it or hate it. Yeah, Tuscan yeah. Leather. No, I think you're right. I think that's it, absolutely. Okay, next one is Noir de Noir. I like this one as well. Yeah. Choc Again, it's chocolate and rose. Yeah. Yeah. Good date night scent. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. good. It's got loads of depth to it, hasn't it? And really smooth. It's really smooth, no, I don't know. It is really smooth, and I feel like, the, yeah, there's quite a lot going on, isn't there? Mm. But without being overpowering. Yeah. Because of the rose in there, I think it, it leans perhaps quite feminine yeah but I know a lot of guys who really enjoy this Pritt really likes this one uh, I really like this one uh, I think rose is a note that guys guys can carry off and a lot of a lot of the time women like the, the very sweet florally scents yeah. on guys like you know yeah. Jean, Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal yeah. is a classic that that uh, women say they like on, on men and, and that's a very sweet I think I'd be quite happy if Richard wore, wore this yeah? I think he could pull it off. Yeah. Still not my favourite one though. Okay. All right. And then the last one is Oud Wood. Have you ever smelled Oud Wood before? No. No? This was my first private blend Oud Wood. Bought it at the airport in Portugal. Did you? Yeah. I like this one. Yeah. I think this would be good on guys. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely unisex, but um, yeah, I, I can see I that it has a masculine... I would wear it myself, I think, yeah. probably. Yeah. But whereas I think I would probably wear Mandarino, I really like yeah. that one, for me. I'd choose this one for Richard out of all of them. Right. Okay, so out of all of these, you think Oudwood is the best for a guy? The yeah. Most, the most masculine one? I, I, but I would wear it myself, but yeah. I think I'd, I, I'd prefer for me the Mandarino, but for a guy, the Oudwood. So you could get Richard a bottle for Christmas and then you could share it. Well, yeah. And you'd probably wear more, more than me. <laughs> okay, we're going to quickly whiz through and go back and just see if the dry downs uh, are any different. And sometimes after smelling them all, it's good to revisit the different scents. So back to Norelli Portofino. This one reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Like... Yeah, lemony, it's florally. It's lemony, but like... The sea, like kind of oh, the sea. Door slamming in the wind. Reminds you of... A, Almost a bit soapy, but... Soapy's bang on. It is, it is yeah. described as quite soapy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it probably reminds you of soapy things, maybe. You know, bath... Um, bath gel or shower yeah, gel. Yeah, do you know what? I think it does. I'm yeah. sure it's like... Radox yeah. shower gel, it reminds me of. Yeah, I mean, it is that kind of cl very clean, soapy yeah. smell, isn't it? Which is, it yeah. is described as, so yeah, I think that, I think you're bang on. Yeah. Okay, Tuscan leather dry down. 
see if this is settled at all. So I prefer it dried down. I feel okay. like it's not quite as bitter. The leather tones down and the raspberry yeah. sweetness yeah. comes through a bit more, yeah. But I still wouldn't choose it. Okay. Yep. I see how it's, it's so better. intoxicating. It just draws me in Tuscan leather. No, I see even, and it does, it smells like in a new car. Yeah. And I find that quite sickly. Okay. The smell right. of like a new car. So definitely so, yeah, not loving the Tuscan yeah, leather. Right, here's the dry like down it. of your favourite Mandarino de Malfi Aqua. Yeah, still really like this Yeah? One. Okay. It's just light and fresh. Yeah. And I like the like, orangey yeah. smell. Yeah, yeah, it's got character, hasn't it? A, yeah. a light summer scent with character. Yeah. Dry down of tobacco vanille. Still really sweet. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you can almost smell more now. So before it was just really sweet. Yeah. And maybe some of the other notes come through. Yeah. It is I quite shouty like in the beginning, one. tobacco vanille. Yeah. yeah. But it, and it does settle. Yeah. I think it's better now it's settled. Yeah. And yeah. again, I'd wear that one more at home and I'd probably wear it in the winter as well. Yeah, it's good Whereas this one, yeah. one's much more... Reminds me of some kind of like vanilla -y type dessert. Yeah. Tobacco vanilla. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so you like it... I'm not sure about that one on a guy though. Tobacco vanilla on, yeah. on a guy, right, okay. Yeah, it is sweet. Yeah. Um, tobacco oud dry down. See, I know what you're saying about this, that it's... it's quite potent and, and pungent yeah and it is almost to the point where you go oh yeah. really but you know how sometimes you get you, you, you smell something and you have that initial reaction and then you go actually that was a really interesting smell and you go again and you go Stokesy when he smelled yeah. pardon a uh, fragrance called pardon first of all he smelled it and he was taken aback by how strong and different it was he never smelled and then he kept having to smell it and 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 he loves it. He it is an it, yeah. interesting smell. Like yeah. I do, you do keep wanting to yeah. go back and smell yeah. it. But when you first smell it, I, again, I just get that like it's bitter. Yeah, it does have a bitterness. Yeah. yeah. But it has grown on me that one. Yeah. I think out of all it of them, it is a grower tobacco wood. Yeah. yeah. Out of all of them, that one I think has grown on me the most. Yeah. Okay. That's that's interesting. Um, so, you like it a bit more than you did just on the opening. That, yeah. That kind of smell is um, Yeah, because when I first you. smelt it. Yeah. And that's why it's good to go through them and, and then go and come back and go through them again because you can compare them more then. And, and, and once you, your nose has been reset by other fragrances and then you smell that, uh, uh, that one again, then yeah. um, you can kind of come at it again from a, a fresh perspective, can't you? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Noir de Noir dry down. I can't remember what that one was like. There's something that's just occurred to me, and I've never mentioned this before, I don't think, but this reminds me of a kind of um, sweet. A kind of sweet? A, a sweet, yeah, covered in chocolate. See if you can get it. I'll tell you what it is in a sec. A sweet covered in chocolate? Yeah, soft in the middle. Turkish Delight? Yes. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. It's like yeah. Turkish Delight, isn't it? Yeah. It very much so. On the dry down, I feel like it's quite subtle. Mm. Yeah, like it's not it a shouty scent. No. Mm. It, it's um, it it just says to me kind of love and romance. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So you like you like that one, but I like um, it. Not, not my favourite. Yeah. And dry down of Woodwood. Yeah, see, I really like this one. Yeah. Now it's dried down. Yeah, it rounds out, more. smooths out yeah. a bit more, yeah. Yeah. I remember the first time I, I smelled this, I'd, I'd only really smelled kind of designer fragrances like Sauvage and some Paco Rabanne fragrances mm. and La Mal. And then I remember at the airport when I smelled this, I, it, I was a bit taken aback because I, I thought, wow, I've never actually experienced a scent like that in yeah. my life before and uh, I just found it so intoxicating. It is, it's really different. You do, you want to keep smelling it again. Yeah. I'd okay. really like it, yeah, I'd really like that on Richard. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, out of all of them, 
Which is your overall favourite for you? For me? Yeah. Well, I think I like the Oudwood and the Mandarino di Amalfi equally. Okay, so that grew on you a bit more than the first time you smelled the opening then, okay? Yeah. All right. But f for me, personally, mm. I like the, uh, the Mandarino the best. Okay. And for Richard, which one would you choose? The Oudwood. Oudwood. Okay. Yeah. So Richard's wearing Oudwood tonight and... <laughs> You're wearing, what are you, you going to choose? Mandarino di Amalfi. Mandarino di Amalfi. Okay, you can put it on now. Let's do it. Let's do it on camera. Why not? <laughs> and uh, while Sophie's spraying that fragrance, we're going to bring the video to an end. Thanks for joining us. I hope you found it useful. So it's a bye from me and a bye from Sophie. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you tried any of these private blend scents, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know what you think of this video. Have you enjoyed having Sophie on? as another guest. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell to enable notifications. Do it. <laughs> and until next time, keep tuning into FM and... Keep smelling good. <laughs> we Do just had a walk-in. <laughs> um, just, uh, just start saying that bit again, saying, um, yeah, yes, really. Um... Uh.